to backdoor Roth IRA and how do you actually set one up? And like many things, make sure you do it with a tax professional the first time you do it so you have all the correct forms. When does this come into play? Well, before we get into the backdoor Roth, we'll cover what the Roth IRA limits are. So if you're single, you can make a full contribution to a Roth IRA and you don't need the backdoor Roth if you make less than $146,000 modified adjusted gross income. If you're somewhere between the 146 to 161 k basically this is where the phase out is where you can't make a full contribution. And if you make more than $161,000 as a single person, basically the only way you can do it is a backdoor Roth. If you're married, filing jointly and make less than $230,000 a year, you don't have to worry about the backdoor Roth. You can make just your full contributions to the Roth IRA. If you're between 230 and 240, this is where your phase out is, so you have some reduced amount of a contribution. If you are above $240,000 as a couple, effectively the only way to do it is a backdoor Roth. So how do you actually do this? So anyway, you would open a brokerage account in a non-deductible. Basically, this just means you're not gonna deduct it off your taxes. It's just gonna be a traditional IRA at the brokerage, and that brokerage could be any of them for the, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I use Charles Schwab, uh, Interactive Brokers is another one, and Vanguard is another one I've, I've heard a lot of things about. So, and you can contribute up to the IRA limits. So what is the, the IRA limits for 2024? That's $7,000 for under age 50, and it's $8,000 for 50 or older. So basically they give you an extra $1,000 you can invest because you're getting close to retirement. Step two, Either you may have a Roth IRA that you already have, and that's fine, you can use that. And if you don't, you just open a Roth account. Preferably, I would do it at the same brokerage. That way, it just makes the, the conversion very easy because um, there, there's some difficulty when you go from a brokerage to another brokerage, and they may actually give you the check rather than the other brokerage, which is still acceptable, but it's more paperwork that you have to deal with, and you have to do it within 60 days, and it's timed. So it's much easier if it's uh, both the non-deductible traditional IRA and the Roth IRA are at the same brokerage. It also goes a lot quicker and smoother. Number three, you're going to go with the brokerage and you're going to have to complete a Roth conversion from the non-deductible traditional IRA and convert that to the Roth IRA. Now, you're going to want to file form 8606 with the IRS. Uh, when you file your taxes just to make sure that you're not taxed twice and they need to acknowledge the contributions as a non-deductible contribution to a traditional IRA. So that means you've already paid your taxes on this money. When you do the conversion, because you already paid the taxes, you don't have to pay the taxes when you do the conversion. If you didn't uh, pay the taxes and it was just a traditional IRA, then you would have to do, uh, you would have to pay the taxes when you convert it. When you do a conversion from a traditional to a Roth IRA, there's something you need to be aware of. It's called the pro rata rule. If you have a non-deductible and you also have deductible traditional IRAs, your conversion is kept at the same percentage, which can trigger taxes and, and other things. So what does that mean? So if I just added $7,000 to a non-deductible traditional IRA this year, but I have an existing, say I have $7,000 in a deductible traditional IRA that I had in a prior year or something. Now I have $14,000 total in an IRA. If I converted 7,000, that means that this is 50%. So the pro rata rule means that 50% of anything I convert is then taxable. To avoid this taxation, if you can, first try to roll over your traditional deductible IRAs into say an employer 401k. So the IRA is in this pro rata rule, but the 401k is different. So if you get that deductible contribution into the 401k, then you don't have to worry about the 50%, 100% of the non-deductible can go into the, basically into this uh, Roth conversion. I mean, you can, you can take all 14,000 and convert it into the Roth too. That's a different way, but uh, you will have to pay taxes on the $7,000 that were in the deductible traditional IRA, and that's fine too. And again, like I said, work with a tax professional at least the first time you do this, just to make sure you get all your forms in order 
So this is how you would complete a backdoor Roth IRA. These have been available since 2010. Uh, there have not really been any action to end this. There's been some debate of whether or not the IRS uh, should stop this, but in order to do that, it would be an act of Congress. But for 2024, this hasn't changed yet, and hopefully this stays in place for a long time because I would like to take advantage of this, and I have a lot of friends that were asking me about this. So thank you, everyone, for asking this question, and uh, happy to show you how to do it. All right, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you like to save money, like to invest, want to see how you can make more money, this is a good channel for you. Have a great day.